my friends and welcome to another tutorial on my channel today i'll be teaching you how to design your own cd cover and this is the cd cover i've made for this tutorial the image we are using is already in the layers panel so let's make them visible this is a photo we are using for the singer which i downloaded from pixel and this is an image without the background which i had already cut out in order to save time the link for all resources used you will find in the description panel below so let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is to bring into the document the text that i've already copied to clipboard and let's get the graphics done Take out the wet gold and upscale the size. Change font to Antonio Bold and make it larger. Next, go to Text Studio and in the Text Positioning option, tap on Tracking and drag the slider to the left to reduce the space in between the letters. Centralize the text and make a duplicate. Drag the duplicate behind the singer and now tap the one above and remove the fill. Also make the outline white. Then select the lower layer and change the color to white. Then go to the Effect Studio and add outer shadow to the text. Make radius about 29 and offset about 15. The default intensity and angle is simply OK. Now let's select the singer's name. Place it in position and break it into two lines. Resize it and change the font to Zafino. Then go to text positioning in the text studio to close the gap in between the lines. Drag the leading over slider up and down until you get a nice space in between them. The summary of the song title is that God is love and I want this also to reflect on the cover design. So in my asset studio, I have this PNG love symbol. I'm going to resize it, move the rotation around and set in place. Then I'll make the layer invisible the next thing to do now is to cut out the hand holding the microphone to create an effect like the hand is passing through the love icon you can take your time to do the selection You can fine-tune the edges by selecting the foreground and with white color work on the edges though in this case it is not really necessary because it doesn't have to be perfect the original copy is still beneath in the output mode select new layer this will cut out the selection and make the original invisible so what you do is to make both layers visible now make the love layer also visible and duplicate it drag one behind the cut out hand and then select the top one of the two layers to work on so grab the eraser tool reduce the width and erase that part that should be behind the hand and microphone but note that this can be done non-destructively but this is the way i want to do this at this time so the next thing to do now is to color the text so let's pick color from the love icon and apply to the title and singer's name all other text should be in white and then let's change this to Argentum Sans, the font to Argentum Sans. Now 
now let's add some 3d effect on the title god to do this select the lower layer that is the one in white field and go to effect studio tap on bevel and emboss set radius to about 22 soften to about 70 and elevation to about 52. i think this is good yes this is good now let's add an outer shadow to the singer's name If you look very well, you can see that some part of the love symbol still needs to be cleaned up. So I will zoom in and erase it. Yes, that is good. Now let's try another bevel on the title god. So select the layer and tap on the bevel and emboss and reduce azimuth to about 75 degree. And I think this is better. It looks like the singer's name is buried in a hair. It's not readable. So let's change the color of the text in the air. Duplicate the name and clip one into the image as a child layer and drag the other below the image. So make the clipped one white and leave the other in the same color and I think this is better. This is better. Another look at the love symbol reveal an area that needed to have been erased at the top of the finger and if this is done, it could bury the shape beneath the hand and that will be awful. So to correct this, let's simply select the two layers and resize them all together. I think this is good. This is good. This is good. And with this done, I think we have come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye.